Hello, my name is uh, William Awomagi. I'm 19 years old. I'm a student at Cambridge University. Um, and I decided to become a young assessor because I thought it was a really, really good opportunity uh, to get involved in some really important work, meaning getting young people the funds that they need to do what they need to do in their local areas. I'm Tiam, I'm from Cornwall, I'm a student and I became a young assessor because I've always been passionate about youth work in my local area and I wanted that to extend and be able to have gain a deep understanding of what the picture of youth work looks like within the UK. Hi, I'm Harrison Humby and I'm from Greater Manchester. I studied politics at Keel and I first got involved with the National Youth Agency by, uh, through my youth worker who suggested that I should go and apply for the job and then uh, uh, luckily I was able to get involved. I wanted to be uh, a young assessor for the ability to give something back. I felt like youth work had really impacted my life and made me who I was today. And I loved the idea of, of being able to help other young people to generate the spaces that would allow them to be who they are. I heard about the young assessors role through youth workers that I know um, and the community that I'm around and they said that I should go for it um, to represent Cornwall and the South West. So initially I was scrolling on LinkedIn one day and I came across the NYA role and I thought actually this is a good role for me, it suits the skills that I have but also it gives me the chance to learn more skills and, and capacity build and I decided that actually this is something that I'd want to do, it's a gratifying role, it's a role where you know you feel like you're really making a change all across the UK and from London uh, and we have quite significant levels of development in London already but um, it's really fun to be able to you know, assess applications from all across the UK, especially where, you know, there's some areas that need that sort of like levelling up. Well, I, I think the young assessors are, uh, it's, it's valuable because it, it provides the youth voice, uh, which is something that young people really value. You know, if, if it's uh, an organisation built for young people, young people should be involved in, in the creation of that. And because uh, it, it we can't just say this is for young people when we have to speak to young people and find out what do the young people actually want what what do what do we value in in our organizations and events and and what sort of youth workers are we looking for and and i think that's 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 really valuable it's got to come from the young people because it's for the young people I think it's really, really great that we've been given the opportunity to get involved in assessing these projects. I think it's really beneficial for us, as well as it being beneficial for the youth centres and the projects that are, that are applying, because it allows us to gain a deeper understanding of the picture of youth work in the UK. Um, and it's really exciting to see what that could look like in the future with this money and with this grant. Um, and I think it works out really nicely for people applying um, to the project because it allows them to know that there is a group of people who will be reading these applications and they'll be under and they, they will understand what youth work is like and they will have had their own experience with youth work and they should be able to provide a good good application. It's really important that young people are involved in the process because simply we know best um, what we need. And you know, having been a young person in the youth club, as I mentioned before, I understand the needs um, of, of youth clubs and I understand the needs of young people all across the UK. So we're in best place to really give our recommendations um, for how you know the, this fund can be used. That's why we believe that actually young people should be part um, of the application process. Um, and, and also as well, you know, young people have a lot to learn as well. So being part of this process can actually teach you um, about the full uh, process a lot of times when you're on the receiving end of get of getting the funds you don't necessarily see the whole process um, so it's actually really really a really good opportunity to learn about the whole process you know how the fund actually works where the fund comes from and and, and, and all those things in between I'm looking for something that 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 shows confidence of the young people, that, that shows they're inspired to do something uh, new, something fresh and uh, something for their community. And I think for me, one of the most impactful things to see is, is when people talk about how they're gonna include everybody, uh, from people from all different backgrounds to people with different disabilities and, and different confidence ranges. And when, when they talk about different activities, they can, they can include to make sure everyone's involved. Uh, and that's something that 
that, that really impacts me, making sure everyone has a space that they feel safe in. And that, that for me is, is one of the most valuable things people can include. The thing that I'm looking for most in the application is a sense of passion from the young people about the project. I want to know why they go to that youth centre, why they need that youth centre and what that youth centre provides for them. I think another really key part that we're looking for is a focus on accessibility and diversity because there is no point in having an amazing youth centre if not everybody in the community can access it. And I think that has to be really important as well, um, demonstrating that it is open to the whole community and that it is essentially spe specialised for, for what the community needs. The difference that the youth applications can make are absolutely massive because it gives young people um, the capacity to learn new skills, um, develop you know, new areas um, of you know, capabilities. And it's just really important because it's actually life changing. You know, I, I can remember from my personal experience as a young person, um, what youth clubs did for me. They were able to help me learn so many skills like you know, public speaking or just communication, which is just really, really important in, in your day-to-day uh, -day life.